St. John Lutheran Church was uh, founded in 1853, and uh, this is the uh, second physical location that the church has been in. It was uh, a little bit farther out in the country originally, and this would be the fourth or fifth actual building uh, that the church has used. The first uh, that was used was actually destroyed by a hurricane once, and uh, I believe also a fire destroyed another one. And then uh, they came and moved here and built in 61. And then this building was built in, uh, and completed in 2011. Music is very important here at St. John. Uh, my wife is a musician and she uh, uh, loves uh, to sing and play and so do I. I, I love music as well. And uh, the people here also uh, love to sing. They love good music. It's very important here at St. John. The music ministry here at St. John includes uh, maybe a total of uh, 50 to 100 people. Um, depending on what's going on. This is all the way from the people who are in the choir to the praise team to the people who support us with the audiovisual uh, ministry that is a part of that too. But it's a vital, vital part of our, our life here at St. John. We had a good pipe organ, uh, but it was very limited. And uh, we also did not have any pistons, any presets. And so everything was manual. And it was also uh, somewhat of a challenge to play, according to, at least to my wife again, uh, but as, others as well, I think, would say that. Uh, we wanted more resources, and we also wanted to be able to um, uh, enjoy the benefits of uh, additional uh, sounds beyond just a classical organ sound that we are also having available with this new organ. It's very important. We wished that as we uh, planned for our new instrument, that it would be a strong, uh, classical, excellent sound. Uh, we did not want to have somebody think, oh my goodness, that's a fairly good electronic organ. We wanted people to not be distracted, but be truly blessed and inspired by the new organ. We wanted a lot of resources. We wanted the ability to control those resources with presets and pistons and so forth. Uh, but we really wanted an excellent sound. That was a major issue for us in, in choosing Johannes. In the process of selecting this particular organ, we went on a field trip and saw several Johannes installations and uh, remarkable installations on several levels. One of the smallest, physically uh, smallest organs that we looked at was, the, was actually a monarch organ. It was wonderful and really told me and the others that this is a very, very good instrument, a very good company to work with. We were able to send two people from here at St. John uh, to actually to go to the Netherlands to see uh, the actual company and to choose the pipes and that was a pretty big deal as well. Uh, when we began to determine how we were going to process through the buying and building and so forth, we uh, worked with our uh, local Johannes representative, Rick Bocock, and he was very helpful to us. We did a lot of planning. We looked together at where the speakers would be placed and how they would be put in, and we, uh, he worked with us as uh, our general contractor, uh, made, the, made the plans and the places available. Um, we, uh, we finally determined that yes, this is the instrument that we wanted. We knew we wanted Johannes, we knew we wanted the Monarch, and, um, and so all of that came together very well. Well, after we decided to purchase the organ, we took a trip to the Netherlands, and that was a really big help to us, to help us uh, decide which sounds to put into the organ. And then the installation process went fairly simple because the uh, speakers were being put into a brand new church. So we feel we got a custom installation and a very good one. We bought the uh, Johannes Monarch uh, organ with many, many stops and many, many pistons and presets with wonderful sounds. And it has been a tremendous instrument for us.
the specs of the organ, um, we have uh, the equivalent of, I say, over 90 ranks of pipes here. And we have four different manuals so that we can get almost anything on any manual at any time. Well, Johannes uh, starts with the European sound and then it's adaptable to the American sound. So we can have the best of both. The organ is a vital investment in our music ministry. It is probably the foundation for, uh, you know, for well over half of the, of the music ministry. We actually have a contemporary service as well as a traditional service. And uh, we find that the, the organ is the building block for our traditional worship. It is a powerful, wonderful uh, resource for us to use. Our organ is used to lead worship primarily, lead hymns, accompany the choir, uh, also for uh, special music during the uh, offering and prelude and postludes. Um, we use it to inspire and uh, encourage people to worship God. The sound of this organ is phenomenal. When I tell people it's a digital organ, uh, they are quite impressed. I'm impressed. I mean, every time I hear it, I love it. It's a wonderful, wonderful instrument with tremendous sound. Our church members love it. Uh, there's a lot of control that we have over it. it. It's not, it doesn't have to be so loud that it's overbearing. We can make it softer. When it needs to be loud, it can be loud. And it has wonderful resources that uh, allow us to inspire and uh, support our worship. I love the new church organ. It's so nice. It's great. I love it. Love it. I used to be an organist, so I have played it just a little bit. It's very accessible. Uh, there is a lot available on the organ. It's very pleasant to listen to. It sounds like a beautiful pipe organ, and we've been very pleased with it. I love the sound of the Johannesburg organ, and it definitely has improved the, the singing in the, in the church. Well, it was wonderful. It made it for a great service. It's very, very good sound, yeah. Yes, I like the sound of the organ. It's traditional. It's a very traditional sound, full, rich sound that doesn't come from cheap organs. I like the sound, and I like um, uh, all of the different things that it can do. I'm not very musical, but I really do like it. Oh, the organ is fantastic. Just love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. There's sounds coming out of it I've never heard before, so. It's great. It's great. It's got such a full, full sound to it. It just uplifts everybody, and I think everybody it just sings a little louder, a little stronger. Uh, we chose Johannes uh, because after viewing and listening to the other options that were available to us, uh, we felt that it gave us the best value. Uh, we liked the concept of how it was put together, how it was designed, uh, the many, many audio channels that are a part of that, and the fact that because of the various speaker arrangements and uh, arrays that uh, there is an acoustical mixing of the sound, which is, which is very important too. Uh, it's a very good choice, I think. Uh, our experience through the whole process of choosing, buying, having installed this organ was very positive. I would recommend Johannes because of the sound, because of the ability to tweak the sound and make it uh, different, and because of the variety of the instrument and the easy way it plays. We are satisfied with Johannes. We feel we get good service, we've got good sound, and it's a sound that I would recommend to anybody. Uh, not only would I recommend Johannes to other churches, I have. Uh, it's, it's a tremendous instrument and we're very thankful for it. <laughs>